might be fun to dive into some confessions on 9970 JX. And the reason for this is a random text message we got. Yeah, we got a random text message from Cassie. And I have since named her Cassie the Cake Smasher. So and what, this is why. Okay, yeah. She said, this is just the text, I love to smash Little Debbie's in convenience stores. Okay. Like after she purchases them or, or while they're still on the shelf? So. And I said, as a chocolate cake treat connoisseur, that's a little offensive. She says, I love, to, uh, I love to eat them too, but my OCD won't allow me to not smash a couple of fat cakes as I walk by. I, I kind of get what she's saying. Like, you know, the that spongy feel underneath the, the plastic, the, the air and the plastic kind of all together. Yeah. Can, you feel the need to smash perfectly fluffy, delicious looking cakes? I'm not saying I do. But I well, get- Cassie does, and now she is named Cassie the Cake Smasher forever in a text line. I told her that. She said, yes, do it. And she said a really sweet picture. It's so cute. <laughs> but I, I understand what she's saying. I, I, I kind of get that obsession. I understand it. Kind of like people who love to pop the bubble wrap? Yeah. Kind of well, like that kind of thing? Yeah, sure, a little bit. All right. So if you, want, you, if you have a uh, confession that you would like to unload, we're here for you. All right, we can keep you anonymous. We can uh, give you a name, whatever. 502-571-9970, okay? The cake smash who kind of kicked it off with a random text admitting that she just loves squishing those little Debbies. In, in convenience stores. In the convenience like she can't walk by yeah. without smashing a few of them. Yeah, I get I'm like, it. All right, thank you for sharing. Uh, so what's your confession? So here's what happened. My girlfriend was out of town, and she said, hey, can you host it for me? Can you come over and watch the place? I was like, yeah, sure, that's fine. All right. I get over there, there's not much to do, so I turn on the TV, hop onto her DVR. Well, when I exited out of the DVR, I have no idea what I did, but I managed to wipe the whole thing, deleted everything. She had, like, months' <laughs> worth of shows on that thing, all completely gone, totally panicked. Um, however, I have not told her yet. She hasn't noticed. She's back in town, but um, I don't know if I should tell her or just wait for the surprise. I'm pretty much terrified of her reaction. Mm, oh, gosh. Yeah, I get it. Sure. Yikes. I mean, maybe it's time for her to move beyond DVR. That's maybe my first suggestion. Listen! <laughs> I mean, there's something to be said for nostalgia. Uh, I guess. And, you know, hanging on to the, the good old days. I guess, yeah. Everything's sure. digital now. Uh-huh. Uh huh. All right, so what's yours? So here's the deal, guys. I have a confession. My husband's ex-wife reached out to me on Facebook last week. <gasps> we just got married about a month ago, and she just wanted to wish us well. I thought that was cool. I mean, she's nice, and it was a grown-up thing to do. I'm not going to tell my husband. They don't have a good relationship at all. Man, I thought that you were going to go a different direction with that. I did, too. I was like, whoa, wait a second. Yeah. Is this going zero to 60 in no time flat? Yeah, reached out to me and said, I'm still seeing him. Right. No, um, well, that's great. I think that's yeah. awesome, too. Yeah, that is good. All right. Well, thank you for those. Random.